Let's see what else is happening in the market today. Paul Bedia joins us on set to do just that. Paul, welcome. Literally just ran up. You, you made it just in time. I was actually, I sort of got, I was downstairs watching you guys talk about Facebook. <laughs> and now you're here. <laughs> and now I get the email from Jared. I get up here. So no, you're updating your status account. I was right? no, exactly. no, you know, yeah. I'm probably about the, one of the two million people that don't go to Facebook every day. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I don't with, you. I'm with you. I'm with you on well, that well, one. Because we're busy working. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can't believe there's 100 million Twitter. people. Twitter. Yeah. <clears throat> Twitter. Yeah, I, I do have a bit of a uh, Twitter Twitter's problem. a different story. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's a totally different story. Okay. All right, let's talk about the markets. Uh, 8.30, we just got the jobless claims, which is interesting. They were down 12,000. Market thought it would be 7,000. So The level of 367,000, pretty encouraging. Uh, you know, what I think is encouraging is even in December and through most of January when you saw this number drop, there was a lot of questions about whether or not it was seasonal. So whether Labor it was Department was saying it wasn't, but, yeah, whether it's sustainable. They lie. <laughs> well, I'm not saying they lied. No, they were saying it wasn't seasonable. But the market, you know, we're kind of, we're a little cynical. Yeah. A little bit. So you were kind of, you worried whether or not it really was sustainable. Well, now we're January, into February. Is, February, January is show over. show me period for jobless yeah, claims. Yeah, you know, you, you might be able to say safely that the jobless claims are going to stay under 400,000. You know, given that nothing else blows up in the world. Well, and that's <laughs> yeah. why tomorrow's jobs report will be interesting They're, because if right. you look at the trend, it is a somewhat lasting one. It points to stronger job growth than we saw for much of last right. year. The, the four-week average on the on the claims has been under four hundred thousand since November. So, you know, this number today, twelve thousand, is not a huge number, but you know, you really might be able to say that we are safely under that four hundred thousand level, which is you know, kind of is the, the demarcation line between adding and losing jobs. Well, yeah. good sign. Wall Street liked it. The stock futures aren't moving much. They were down about 10. Now they're up about now 7. A little maybe bit on the news. So not a huge move on the news, but, you know, it's something encouraging. But once again, we're not surprised on the negative side, and for so long we were. Although you know. the one problem to keeping an eye on some of the chain store sales data, which are coming in for January, yes. not necessarily a strong month for retailers, really a differentiation month. We've seen some disappointments from, with Macy's, for example, and then on the other hand, Saks, Costco do better. It's not necessarily as easy as a high-end consumer doing well, low-end isn't. It's just a case no, where you had no. a real choppy I, month, warm and, weather, And you know, look, it's going gonna, gonna to go from retailer to re retailer. Abercrombie got crushed. Yeah. I mean, they, you know, they said it was a heavy promotional month, high co cotton costs, like they're the only ones with cotton costs, but yeah. you know, it, it's how the retail handle the environment they're in. Abercrombie shares are down 13%. They're getting killed on it because they didn't have a good time. You know, somebody like Target, though, Target had a good, pretty good January. Stock's up 3%. And not a lot of retailers, this is an opportunity for them if they saw some bigger headwinds out there, bigger problems for 2012, this is when they could signal that to investors. We're not necessarily seeing that, so the real question is, was January just a, a month where they had a lot of things thrown at them and had to, to mark stuff down, didn't do very well, or is it the start of something more pernicious? Well, it's right. not necessarily clear it's the right. latter yet. No, it's not. Look, we'll get the four Qs in a little while. We'll see what they did for the year. But, you know, December wasn't quite as good as we thought. I know we had Black Friday and it happens every single year. Everyone gets all hyped up mm -hmm. and there's so much hype around it. You think, oh, it had to be a good... December wasn't that great for yeah. retail sales. Yeah. I mean, it really wasn't. January's continuing that trend. Look, the economy's not in a great gangbuster place right now. I know Facebook's the big hype and it you know, kind of makes things seem like everything's everyone's moving. everyone's buying fake cows on Farmville right. or something. Right, you know, or whatever it is. We don't know because we don't go there every day. <laughs> <laughs> Last word we just want to mention to people, keep an eye earnings news, this Extrada Glencore potential tie-up is huge. It's big, $82 billion, a couple of mining companies. Yeah, you know, it may not be on a lot of people's radar because they're not American companies, So, but it, yeah, it's a big deal. And look, the mining sector is one of the big, big growth sectors. It's, you know, how long that can be sustained. Is this a sign of a top? That's a good question. Right. It's a big deal, though. It's billion. interesting because the industry it's in, and it's interesting to me because, you know, when you see deal making that shows CEO confidence, that they're willing to go out and spend time. Hopefully it's confidence and not Hope desperation. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Could we be kid. Right. We kid. <laughs> and, and, yeah, quickly, I got a lot of earnings on tap today. Not huge market, right. but a lot, lot of earnings. It's a big, heavy day for Which it. Which will give you plenty to, to tear through. 10.30, sure. 10.30 a.m. We'll keep an eye and see how the futures continue to digest all right. this. Thank you, sir. Yep, see you later.